Hello friends and welcome to my filth. Let's freaking clean some crap up, shall we? My name is Miley if you're new here. You know when you just like have those weeks that are just kind of like garbage weeks where there's no food in your pantry and you're just like scrounging together meals. You're so busy, your schedule's just like packed and you feel like you have no time and stuff just like builds up and builds up. Your house becomes a disaster. That's where I'm sitting at. So it is time for a full house reset. We gotta freaking make this place look livable again because this whole week has been a hot mess. Let's just put it that way. Eric's in a show, well so am I now, but Eric's in a show right now that I'm working crew behind the scenes for. It's a super technical show, so much fun, but we're literally like working all day then going to rehearsal and just kind of living life at the theater. And this week has just been like, go, 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 go rehearsal wise. And we've just had no time. If you're new here, we do lots of fun things on this channel, mostly just lifestyle content, vlogs, shopping videos, grocery hauls, book stuff, theater stuff, lots of fun things. If you haven't subscribed, definitely hit that red subscribe button. And without further ado, let's get started on cleaning up this freaking mess. It's a whole Friday reset, so let's do it. Look at the nerds. There's Scrimpy. You gonna help me pick up Scrimpy? <laughs> Yeah, that's what I thought. So this is my office. It's actually not that bad. It's mostly just all that stuff. There goes Scrimpy. Then literally, this is so bad. Like it doesn't get like this unless we're sick. Uh, this is our bed. Like it's just, I need to wash the sheets. I haven't made the bed at all this week. It's got like random crap over here and cords. I actually don't think the bathroom is bad at all. Yeah, Eric just showered in here so it's foggy. So yeah, bathroom's fine. Laundry is a disaster. I've got some laundry going already. In fact, we may need to go check on that. It may need, yeah, it needs to come out. I've literally had a load of towels in the dryer just like sitting all week. This is Eric's clean laundry that's been sitting all week. I have to put away like, it's a disaster, okay? Okay, out in the living room, we've still got my um, family was here this past weekend, literally a week ago. They left on Monday, today's Friday, and I've still got all this stuff out here. I just literally haven't had Time to clean it up. We've got tables I need to put away. Our kitchen is actually, it's not that bad right now. I mean, it looks like there's crap everywhere, but it's really just Amazon boxes and a little bit of dishes and the counters certainly need to be wiped down. We've got the ironing board out, some flowers from the funeral that need to be taken to a family member. But it's not totally disastrous. It just feels that way to me, you know, you know, it's not the norm. Um, and so it just feels like a lot. So I think first things first, I am going to go get laundry started and switched over. Then maybe we'll start in the bedroom. Hello, friends. It's voiceover Miley here. And I have a cough, so sorry if I cough during this voiceover. But just, you know, you're going to have to live with it. Okay, so whilst I am putting away this laundry, I thought I would tell you a bit about the show that Eric's currently in that I'm helping behind the scenes on. Pippa, can you please stop hacking in the background? My gosh, maybe this is gonna have to wait till the next part. Hold please. Okay, laundry's going back there. It's been sorted, switched, put away. So now let's go tackle the office. Which honestly will probably take me two minutes and we'll just go straight into the bedroom. Let's do it. LOL, let's try this again. So he is currently in a play that's called The Play That Goes Wrong. It's a show within a show about a theater company who puts on a murder mystery and the entire time they're on stage during the performance, everything goes completely awry from people forgetting lines, costumes going crazy, sets falling down. It is a laugh and a half. We only have about 20 more minutes till we need to leave and I'm getting very hot and sweaty and kind of want to sit myself down. So I may just keep the laundry going for the next 20 minutes. Honestly, it won't even be done. Dang it, I was hoping I would be able to switch the laundry one more time before we left, but I don't think it'll be done. So should we go do the living room? Let's go do the living room. We'll power through to do the living room and then we'll finish the kitchen either tonight when I get home or tomorrow. So let's keep going. I also have some embroidery that I've finished that I want to see if I have frames for and possibly hang in my office if I do have frames for. So there's lots to come in this video, but for right now, let's try to get this oh i'm gonna have to wash all these sheets too yeah the laundry's definitely gonna go into tomorrow but let's try to at least get this living room cleaned up and i need to water archie over there archie is our pride and joy bird of paradise his whole name is archimedes like the owl in the sword and the stone we call him archie 
he has just sprouted this new giant shoot. Look how beautiful it is. I'm not touching him because I'm paranoid his shoot is not going to fully come out, but so far it's doing really, really good. He's got another one back here. He's just like thriving, living his best life, but I need to water him because it's been probably weeks since I watered him. We love Archie. He's just so cute. Anyway, let's do the living room. It's very much like an ensemble cast. A lot of our friends are in it. It's a small cast. It's just so fun. So I'm helping backstage. So I get to do lots of fun stuff. Like I squirt water at Eric during part of the show. I get to make a prop fall off the wall. I get to make the flats, the fronts of the walls fall down at the very end. It's so fun. Eric is getting that bed deflated for me. And I've got piles of the laundry that needs to be done. I really also need to do like a little clean on the couch cushions, but it's about time to leave for rehearsal. So I'm gonna have to leave it here for now. When we get home, we will change some laundry and I don't know what else we'll do tonight, but see you for whatever's next. Going to water Archie, give him some water. And now we gotta go to rehearsal. See you after. Good morning. It's the next day I came home from rehearsal and I did not do squat. I didn't even change the laundry. I need to go change the laundry, but look what Scrimpy woke up and did for me because he's such a nice boy. You got anything to say? You're welcome. He cleaned the whole kitchen, like wiped all the counters and everything. So we don't have to do it. It's already done. That's so happy. We are going to clean out the fridge and the pantry really quick though, because we are just going to bite the bullet and go grocery shopping. We honestly have not gone grocery shopping in like a couple months, it feels like, um, because we do Instacart, but we're going to Aldi this time. And we sometimes do Walmart. We sometimes do Aldi. When we go to the city, we do like Trader Joe's, but, um, there are so many specials like weekly at Aldi that Instacart doesn't have. So we're going to actually go in person. I'm not going to take you with us because vlogging in Aldi is the actual worst. And I think that would send that one over the edge, but I'll show you our haul when we get home. But before we do that, we need to clean out the fridge and pantry because there's just random crap in there from weeks at this point. So let's do that. Anyway, so I hope you've enjoyed this very disjointed, because I'm only telling it in voiceovers, story about the show that we're currently doing. But we're just having a blast and a half. It is the most physical show Eric's ever done. It is just like, he throws himself off of things. He falls from second floor platform. It's just like he has bruises all over his body. He's exhausted, but he's loving it. All right, everything is nice and cleaned out feels so much better that we had so, we cleaned out the freezer which we probably have not cleaned the freezer out in a good year okay there was so much really old stuff in there um something in my eye okie dokie so now we are headed to aldi i will show you the grocery haul when we get home oh my lanta it has been a while since we have done a big grocery stock like this like this is taking up our entire kitchen for goodness sakes honestly we've been too busy to like cook meals and grocery shop and so as you saw our fridge is like down to bare bones so we needed to do this very large haul we actually got a, a bunch of like frozen meals this time because it's the week of the show and we're going to be so busy and need to be at the theater really quick so we just did quick and easy stuff but we did get a lot of stuff um, for lunches as well too and some healthy stuff so let me show you everything first thing i got was this gorgeous orchid that's the back side of the petals for 12 dollars. are you kidding me so good um baby carrots we got these fancy pink strawberries i'm so excited to try just regular strawberries eric got some relish i don't know why we got salsa and queso for just like little snack with chips Greek yogurt. We took care of the pickle situation that was leaking all over my Greek yogurt. Oh, and with my Greek yogurt, I got this new granola to try it cinnamon flavored. I don't know if that'll go good with vanilla Greek yogurt, but we're going to try it. We were out of honey and soy sauce. We restocked on those and trash bags. Eric got these weird protein drinks. What is this, Scrimpy? Protein 2O. Let me try some. Um, it's protein water. It's got like 15 grams of protein in it. What sugar does that have in it? Uh, zero. Dang. It has sucralose, but... Okay, anyway, milk, bread, chicken. We're going to make some, like, Hawaiian pineapple chicken stuff this week I'm excited for. Chicken thighs for Eric. Um, milk, salad, back, salad, lettuce back there for my salads. Pineapple for the pineapple Hawaiian chicken. Look what I found. My friends Jeff and Madison have been telling me I need to try this, and I found it at Aldi. I'm so excited. Dr. Pepper, Owen Coke for my dad. Um... Sausage for Eric's breakfast. 
I got grapefruit because I love grapefruit. Um, just chips and we have some dip left over from my birthday party um, that we'll leave out for D&D &D this week and we got some chips to go along with it. And then all the frozen dinners we got. Oh, I got also got these pretzel bites to try just because I heard they were good. Um, we got tamales. And what did we get to go with tamales, Scrimpy? Uh, oh, taquitos. I haven't tried these. And then we got boom boom shrimp and veggie spring rolls. A California roll to try. I'm excited to try that. Mini wontons. Some sort of broccoli thing. Um, these are just for the dogs. And then two pizzas for D and D night. So that is the giant haul. Oh my gosh! Now we got to put it all away. Let's do it. Okay, we got groceries put away. I got laundry switched out. I have been sitting here for about an hour working on my last embroidery project of the little kit that I bought, the fourth one. I have one more color left. You can kind of see the little blue dots in there that are left. One more green color and then I'm done. That's so exciting. But I just got an Amazon order that I've been waiting on. And this is a perfect thing to include in a reset video because I've been needing an organization system for my embroidery because it's not organized at all right now. And I'm so excited about what I got. So let's unbox it together. Okay, wow, this angle is incredible. So these are little plastic spoolies that you put the yarn through and like loop it around. This is so exciting. This is my next project. So I'm going to do my own designs on the next project because the only thing I haven't liked about the flowers that I've done, the little flower series, is it's been really nice as a starter and like reminder in my embroidery journey that it's patterned, but it drives me nuts that like I don't cover the little blue outlines completely. Um, and so I got my own hoops this time and I got these. Oh yeah, these are awesome. This is a set of three and it's like floral wrapped. Aren't those so freaking cute? So I also got my own um, fabric and I don't know what designs I'm going to do on them yet. I kind of want to work with some like calligraphy because that's another thing I like. Maybe like more simple designs. I don't know. I envision a whole wall in my hallway of embroidery hoops and frames. So I'm just gonna do random stuff, maybe look to Pinterest for some inspiration. But back to my organizing. I got a floss organizer. So I'll wrap it up in all these little guys and then it's got containers in here. I can stick them in. I'm so, so, so excited about this. And what I like about it is the shelves are totally customizable. So like I could make a bigger shelf if I wanted so that like my embroidery skizzers could fit in one. And I got a pin cushion, a little purple pin cushion. Love it. So stinking cute. I am going to probably sit here and organize this. So you wanna watch? I'll put you in fast mode. And of course the laundry just beeped. So let's put laundry away and then organize my embroidery stuff. Okay, I guess I should talk about something in a voiceover other than the show that's currently just consuming our lives. We actually opened the show this week, the week you're watching this. Well, the week, I don't know if you're watching it the week we opened, but the week I'm releasing this video, we will be opening the show. Any hoozle. So, um, ooh, let's talk about embroidery. So organizing all of my thread was literally the most satisfying thing in the entire world. Oh, just brings me so much joy in my heart. And in a second, you'll see Eric come in and you'll see us try some ice cream. So he ran to Walmart and um, we just had a couple of things on the Aldi list that they didn't have that we needed. So he ran a really quick trip to Walmart and happened to get some ice cream. He loves this really expensive ice cream called, I think it's called like Llewellyn or something like that. And we've tried it, I think a few times before on the vlog, maybe once but he found two flavors he wanted to try. One was like honey graham cracker and the other was kettle corn. So he brought those in for me to try a bite of. Honey one, I could take or leave, but the kettle corn one was freaking incredible. It had bits of kettle corn in it. Mm, so freaking good. I loved it. Oh my gosh, look how satisfying that is. Oh, I love it. Okay, so I've got dividers back here and extra thread holders. I've got all my thread by color and more room if I need it. I put all my needles in here, my little skizzers right here. Oh my gosh, this is 
incredible i need to get like a cute sticker that says my name or something for this wow i feel so much better also i officially finished my last one of my set so i need to see if i have some frames that will be the right size for these and maybe hang two in my office so let's go investigate that situation all right i'm so excited i have these three frames that are kind of perfect for these guys i'm not sure i'm going to use all of them i kind of want to space them out on the wall i want them to go on and see if two will be will be better or three will be better so let's do that i want them to stack on this wall this girl is the inspiration for my bathroom makeover, so she's gonna move to the bathroom, which I think is apropos because it's a nude. So we can either do one, two, three, or just one, two. I think I kind of like one, two, just so it's not too busy. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. So let's frame these puppies. All right, I got them hung. There was a whole process behind the scenes of ironing and stretching and taping and all the things but i think they look so cute so i've got my bulletin board and then you see those two guys then my shelf i think they're so cute i love them i also went ahead and framed this guy because i'm gonna stick him in the hallway for my hallway makeover um but he did not fit in my office so and i didn't love the orange vibe in here because there's red in here and i just don't like orange and red together anyway so so excited to have that project done and oh just look how cute it is love it um and all my thread freaking organized oh my gosh also i put a huge duvet insert into the washer and it did not spin enough and now it's in the dryer making lots of bad noises and not getting any less sopping wet so i can you hear it in the background that it's like banging so i think it made a huge mistake i may not be getting any more laundry done do you hear that I think I gotta ring it out. <laughs> I think I've made a huge mistake. Oh, it is just a hot, sopping, oh. Oh no, this is so bad. Oh my gosh. Oh, Miley, what have you done? <gasps> Executive decision, I'm throwing it away, don't tell Eric. There's no way this is getting dry. It's old and it's got dog stains on it. It probably was $20 on Amazon. It's not worth the hassle. I feel like I should wipe the dryer out. Ooh. Okay, wiping out the dryer. That's crazy. Oh my gosh. Meanwhile, this one's like washed perfectly. It's much smaller and newer and better anyway. So I'm gonna put my sheets in now. I don't know if you can tell because my shirt's black, but I'm literally soaking wet. I gotta change my shirt. Hey. Okay, I'm gonna put my Minky in first. I literally sleep with this every night, you guys. I don't even use our comforter anymore. Eric uses it and I use the Minky. All right, I also stripped the bed and I'm gonna put that in next after my Minky and we'll get that put back on at the very end of this video. But I think I'm gonna do one more big task because it needs to be done. It's way past needing to be done. And we said we were gonna do it today, but Eric ran out of time. He's been recording all night, by the way. That's why you haven't seen him lately, but I think I'm just going to be nice and do it myself. We were going to clean out the garage today. That did not happen. So maybe if I do what I'm about to do, then he'll do at least the tr all the trash in the garage. I bet that's what he'll do. And he needs to fill up the air in our tires. Anyway, I need to clean out the car because like I said, we've had no time this week and our car is a huge disaster. I mean, probably the worst it's ever been okay and we are going on a date tomorrow to the city we're gonna be in the car pretty much all day in and out it's gonna be raining so i just want it to feel not trashy and horrible in there and it probably needs to like air out a bit too so let me show you what we're working with because it's really bad we gotta clean it out literally you guys what <laughs> oh my gosh i'm scared to know what it looks like back here yeah just so much stuff I'm gonna put you on fast mode for this one. We only have one car, mostly for environmental reasons, but also because we both work from home, so we simply don't need to, but that means our car gets twice as messy. All right, I do not have the time or effort or energy to clean it, but at least all the trash and crap is out of it, so I'll call it a success. <laughs> Sheets just got out of the dryer, so I think I have one last thing in me. Let's make this bed and then freaking go to bed, okay? Does anyone else feel like putting sheets on the bed is like a freaking workout? Specifically, putting 
pillowcases on pillows. Like, I just feel like it is a full body workout. <laughs> okay, that's dramatic. But our fluffy pillows, especially that we sleep on, are so hard to get into the pillowcase. It's like a total arm workout. I'm like sweating by the end of it. I'm a baby, but still. Okay, time to take a bath and get in bed. Thank you so much for watching this Friday reset that turned into all day Saturday too. Hope you will subscribe if you haven't subscribed and like this video if you want to see more like it. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye!